Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. In the course of the last few lectures, we have been discussing a very important uh, reaction which is olefin metathesis and has been also a seminal discovery by its own right and merit with regard to the polymerization uh, uh, reactions. And in fact, this is the second Nobel Prize award winning uh, discovery after olefin polymerization and then subsequently the one that you are discussing which is olefin metathesis. Now, we have noted in the previous lecture that this olefin metathesis reaction has its origin from olefin polymerization reaction in terms of its discovery because uh, research on the area of olefin polymerization uh, led to observations of some unexpected results. Uh, uh, which at that point of time could not be explained and later on uh, this uh, unexpected discovery uh, resulted in uh, uh, the uh, field of olefin uh, metathesis. So, this uh, olefin uh, metathesis uh, has uh, its birth in olefin uh, polymerization uh, reaction. Now, with regard uh, to olefin uh, metathesis, the thing which was perplexing is this cutting and stitching of olefins. Uh, olefins that was observed when olefins uh, uh, were studied for polymerization reaction. It seemed that this cutting and stitching of olefin uh, was uh, uh, very clean uh, and uh, conveniently accomplished under uh, the uh, presence of the catalyst and that uh, was what intriguing at that point of time. Olefin metathesis uh, as we have also noted has its origin in industry when people were uh, studying olefin polymerization and we had also seen that the name uh, uh, olefin metathesis was coined by researcher uh, at Goodyear tires uh, uh, and uh, was first traced back to their two, uh, uh, tetrahedron uh, letter publication in 1967. Subsequently, uh, we have uh, observed that the race was on uh, explaining um, or developing an understanding on the mechanism of uh, these cutting and stitching uh, reactions of olefin, olefin were happening. On uh, this cutting and uh, uh, stitching of olefins uh, which uh, uh, were deemed as olefin metathesis reaction. Now, uh, these uh, uh, were uh, uh, studied uh, intensely uh, particularly with re, uh, respect to the obtaining mechanistic uh, insight uh, using mass spectrometry uh, studies as well as NMR studies uh, using isotope labeling experiments. experiments with deuterated olefins as well as C14 labeled olefins. Now, uh, 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 these uh, were important developments which were simultaneously study, studied uh, in US as well as in Europe and there were uh, parallel publication, parallel independent publication using uh, um, uh, the results of these uh, labeling studies uh, on deuterated olefin as well as uh, um, uh, C13 labeled olefin both appearing uh, in 1968. Now, once uh, uh, this cutting and st uh, stitching mechanism of this olefin metathesis has been established, uh, uh, then uh, the focus 
shifted on obtaining the mechanistic insight of this uh, reaction. Today what we are going to uh, take up is on various uh, mechanistic hypothesis uh, which uh, was uh, at that time uh, 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 thought to be the main pathway for uh, performing uh, this olefin metathesis uh, uh, reaction and which we would be discussing uh, in more detail in today's discussion. Now the first uh, uh, of the mechanistic insight uh, was uh, our hypothesis was proposed by the researcher uh, of Goodyear uh, tires in uh, their 1968 uh, JCS publication. What uh, uh, they had proposed is uh, the reaction of uh, olefin resulting in cyclobutane type of intermediate. I am illustrating this with the help of an example. The olefin being bound uh, uh, to metal then forms a kind of a transition state uh, which uh, uh, can exist kind of intermediate. Uh, 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 so, basically a, a giving uh, rise to two different uh, kind of olefin swapping. Uh, so, uh, this uh, is akin uh, uh, to uh, uh, similarly to what is shown over here. So, uh, in short it can be written something like this for two kinds of olefin in presence of a metal it goes through a cyclic intermediate. And then uh, this cyclobutane intermediate, uh, uh, which is which uh, then loses metal uh, to give the olefins. Uh, uh, with uh, A and C and B and D A counterparts. Now the main uh, uh, drawback uh, to this theory is uh, the fact that uh, uh, there were uh, no observation of any kind of uh, um, uh, cyclobutane intermediate. So formation of cyclobutane uh, in the process of metathesis 
was never observed uh, which uh, sort of led uh, uh, to uh, discarding uh, uh, the uh, theory. So, uh, uh, but uh, nonetheless uh, this was very a, uh, what, uh, clever attempt uh, in explaining uh, this uh, unusual uh, phenomenon of cutting and stitching of olefins and the obvious proposed pathway uh, was suggested that it went uh, mm, uh, uh, by the formation of cyclobutane intermediate and uh, uh, was first published from researchers from Goodyear uh, in 1968 JCS paper. Uh, the next uh, uh, attempt uh, was uh, in explaining uh, uh, the mechanism was by Petit in 1971. Professor Ronald Pritit And this uh, was also uh, reported in uh, the Journal of American Chemical Society in 1971. Uh, oh, where uh, the proposed uh, catalytic species was proposed uh, to be a tetramethylene uh, metal complex as is shown over here. So, this resulting in a very fancy And that uh, uh, bo uh, being in uh, equilibrium uh, uh, with the other uh, metal diolefinic uh, complex. So, uh, this uh, is illustrated as follows for the two olefins. in presence of metal giving this compound the uh, which would then uh, lose the metal to give the desired cross couple olefins. And this is called tetramethylene complex. even though this looks like a, a very a, a nice way of explaining the formation of two different kind of olefin, 
However, the main uh, drawback uh, to this is the proposed intermediate which is this tetramethylene complex uh, uh, and then uh, uh, that uh, is what uh, 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 did not uh, uh, go through finally and uh, at uh, some point uh, was rejected uh, as uh, a plausible uh, mechanism uh, for the reaction. Uh, then the next uh, uh, pr proposal uh, was also a, a very nice effort uh, towards explaining uh, the formation of uh, cross coupled uh, uh, olefins using this cotton stage uh, uh, mechanism. And this time too uh, it was proposed none other than uh, by this uh, future Nobel winning researcher Professor Robert Grubbs. However, the mechanism that he had proposed for metathesis actually turned out to be wrong. Nonetheless, uh, 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 it is interesting uh, to see uh, uh, another new approach uh, as hypothesis as proposed by uh, Professor Grubbs in uh, uh, explaining uh, the mechanism of uh, this olefin uh, metathesis. So, Professor uh, Grubbs uh, 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 mechanism was proposed uh, in another uh, JACS paper in 1972 uh, in the uh, JACS paper. And uh, the mechanism uh, uh, what he proposed uh, is uh, uh, via uh, instead of uh, going through the earlier uh, uh, four membered uh, tetramethylene uh, complex or via cyclobutadiene complex actually the one that he proposed uh, was that of metallocyclopentane uh, complex which sort of rearranges to give the product. Uh, let me illustrate this uh, over here. So, to olefin uh, first binding uh, to the metal and then uh, this formation of the uh, metallocyclopropane uh, uh, occurring uh, resulting in this metallocyclopropane complex. and that uh, undergoing some sort of uh, rearrangement to finally giving the olefin adduct of the cross coupled metathesis olefins. Uh, to the metal. This uh, I will uh, explain in a cartoon as a, a and B type of olefin reacting with C and D type in presence of the metal to give D A B that undergoing rearrangement to give B D C A and then 
finally resulting in a c b d type uh, 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 of uh, uh, the uh, product. So, uh, the his main thing was rearranging proposed hypothesis was rearranging metallocyclopentane intermediate. So, what is interesting over here is that even uh, uh, this uh, attempt of explaining uh, metathesis of uh, using this rearranging uh, metallocyclopentane intermediate uh, turned out to be a, a, a wrong uh, and uh, that uh, 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 the final uh, or the uh, other attempt by Professor Chauvin uh, was uh, one which uh, finally won over all these uh, different uh, proposed insight. But what is uh, 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 by and large uh, overwhelmingly clear is the fact that how intricate uh, this uh, mechanism establishing this mechanism of uh, metathesis uh, had been that so many brilliant minds uh, had uh, worked uh, tirelessly to come up with a mechanism unfortunately many of them uh, could not uh, get it right. So, finally, uh, 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 the one uh, which uh, really won over uh, are the all is a mechanism by Chauvin, uh, uh, Professor uh, uh, Chauvin and which was uh, uh, published uh, 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 much later uh, in 1971 uh, in a obscure uh, relatively obscure journal of macromolecular uh, chemistry written in French. So, 1971 by Professor Chauvin. from uh, 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 French Petroleum Institute and uh, this was published in uh, Macromol came. Nineteen seventy-one, one forty-one volume, one sixty-one page number, and uh, this is best uh, uh, sh uh, shown by the uh, mechanism. And what it says uh, uh, that it goes uh, uh, through the formation of a metal carbene uh, bond so this uh, is uh, suggested to be the main active species for the reaction so that uh, uh, turns out to be the uh, the correct one uh, so that uh, reacting with uh, the olefin ended up giving R2. So, uh, what is uh, 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 to be noted here is the fact that the now uh, the metal carbon pieces has swapped uh, from becoming CHR1 metal uh, to becoming CHR2 metal. So, this uh, was uh, an interesting proposal uh, whereby it is suggested that uh, this metal carbene species is the active species responsible for uh, performing uh, this olefin uh, uh, metathesis and indeed uh, uh, this uh, turned out to be a, a, a extremely a true uh, a true uh, later on and this is what it got the uh, field going. 
Now, what is uh, uh, all the more interesting is the fact that the uh, uh, complexity uh, in the problem is highlighted uh, very much uh, uh, in these uh, failed as well as successful attempt. The number of failed and successful attempt made by eminent uh, minds at the time in trying to get an insight onto how the metathesis reactions are, are progressing. And what is to be appreciated over here is the depth and the power of organometallic chemistry to uh, accommodate so many different kind of uh, hypotheses and proposals uh, that uh, uh, may lead to the formation of these uh, metathesis uh, products. And however, uh, another interesting thing that emerges out of the study is the fact that these uh, uh, the results uh, which were uh, uh, finally turned out to be incorrect uh, 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 were published in the premium journals, whereas the correct one was uh, published uh, in a not so uh, very popular uh, journal as the earlier ones and also in a different language than that of uh, uh, English. Uh, so, uh, the science by and large uh, this highlights the importance of science and a good quality of work nonetheless that if the work is good no matter where uh, it gets published it will see the light of the day. Now, as per Professor Chauvin, uh, he said that three uh, uh, papers uh, which are kind of uh, work by Fisher in terms of the Fisher carbon complex CO5 tungsten C CH3 O CH3 and that was published in Angiochem in uh, 1964 by Professor Fisher And also uh, uh, the polymerization, olefin polymerization ring opening polymerization of of cyclopentene. by Professor Nata. Uh, again in Angiochem International Edition uh, 1964 3 and And the industry work by uh, Philip Petroleum Williams Bank and Belay. Uh, work on on propylene. So, uh, uh, inspired him to come up with this proposal. So, uh, what uh, uh, Professor uh, Nata uh, did is uh, the, uh, we looked at the metal carbene uh, uh, complex uh, first synthesized by Fisher, uh, then the ring opening polymerization of cyclopentene by Julia Nata both appeared in Angiochem 1964 journal and then Philips Petroleum Bailey's research on propylene. Uh, uh, getting uh, converted to ethylene and uh, butene. So, uh, he kind of looked at all of this discovery and came up with this idea of metal carbene species being the active species for this uh, uh, metathesis reaction 
and then uh, uh, had proposed uh, these uh, kind of uh, uh, coupling of olefin uh, via a metal carbene species. So, this is an interesting uh, 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 proposal uh, which one can appreciate now uh, uh, the uh, way uh, the perfect solution was arrived at by looking at various other complexes uh, and various other chemistry being reported uh, uh, around at that time and then explaining uh, 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 this uh, mechanism for olefin metathesis which have been uh, a remarkable breakthrough. So, with this I would like to uh, conclude today's lecture. Uh, where uh, we have uh, discussed about uh, various uh, mechanistic approaches that had been taken in uh, trying to explain uh, the mechanism of olefin metathesis. Uh, and this started with uh, the formations uh, or proposed intermediates of cyclobutane uh, bound to metal uh, by uh, Calderon and that uh, uh, did not uh, find support as there were no evidence of formation of cyclobutane during this uh, olefin metathesis reaction. The second reaction mechanistic uh, hypothesis that we had looked at is by Petit in uh, another JSCS 1971 paper in which a tetramethylene uh, uh, metal complex was sub proposed to be the uh, main intermediate in olefin metathesis and that also did not find ground in the because of the fact that there were uh, no evidence for such a tetramethylene uh, complex could be seen during metathesis reaction. Uh, the third another uh, uh, important paper by Professor uh, uh, Bob Grubbs in JCS uh, 1972 paper where he had uh, suggested uh, 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 or spoken about rearranging metal uh, penta cyclopentanes uh, as the main active uh, intermediate for olefinic uh, uh, metathesis polymerization. However, uh, even this uh, turned out to be wrong and uh, uh, the beauty is even though Professor uh, uh, Grubbs had lost out in proposing the correct mechanism for metathesis, however, his subsequent studies uh, uh, were significant enough to fetch him a Nobel Prize later for the same discovery. And uh, uh, all of these efforts were going on in US where, uh, uh, where uh, uh, the race was on to explain uh, the mechanism for metathesis. And around at the time, same time by following uh, in Europe, in France particular, by following the work of uh, Professor uh, Fisher in synthesizing carbene or that of Professor Narta for uh, carrying out ring opening polymerization of cyclopentane and as well as that of uh, Banks and Bailey's observation of propylene uh, uh, giving disproportionate to ethylene and butane. Pro uh, Professor uh, uh, Chauvin in French Petroleum Institute came up with a mechanism uh, which involved uh, uh, the formation of metal carbene as the active species responsible for carrying out this olefin metathesis. And this fortunately uh, was published uh, uh, in a little bit obscure journal Macromolecule Chemistry in 1971 and also written in French, but however it stood the test of time and went on to become uh, 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 the most acceptable uh, uh, mechanism for this olefin metathesis uh, reaction. So, uh, today uh, with this uh, we come to an end uh, uh, on the discussion of various approaches that were uh, taken uh, in trying to explain the olefin metathesis, more on olefin metathesis particularly uh, in trying to appreciate how the propag reaction propagates and what are its application so on and so forth uh, in a lot more detail when we meet next for this uh, uh, NPTEL course. So, with that I conclude today's lecture. Uh, thank you once again for uh, being with me in this uh, lecture and I look forward to uh, uh, discussing with you a bit more detail on olefin metathesis when we meet next on the next lecture. Since then goodbye and thank you.